G'day guys, Kaleido here and welcome back to my channel. So just before we get into what this video is all about, I just want to let you all know that I have a little bit of a strained voice today. So if I go a little bit quiet or have to take a sip of water or something, it's because my voice is feeling a little bit off today. But anyways, back to the video. So this is a speed build, of course, in The Sims 4 of a recreation, well, my interpretation of Calypso's cave from the Odyssey or from Greek mythology. Um, I'll actually show some pictures like of paintings that I was very much inspired by with this build. And the reason why I am building this is because I have a new series that I've been working pretty hard on. And if you guys have not watched it yet, I actually did a creator sim of the sim Calypso. And I'm really happy with how she turned out. And I just wanted to make a lot that kind of suited her story and because she's going to be a big part of the new series that I've been working on, um, I just wanted her to have this lot. I know that if you guys have been following my progress with this um, production, um, I did have another building at the bluffs, but I decided that Calypso's cave would be most suited to be at the bluffs because she was actually in Greek mythology, well in the Odyssey, she was she is condemned to an island called Ogygia. I'm very sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But yeah, she was stuck on this island. I cannot remember for the life of me why she was stuck there, but um by the looks of the paintings that I had, um, that I was looking at as references, she wasn't there alone. She seems to have a lot of other maidens and stuff with her, or maybe there are other sea nymphs because she is like a sea nymph and, um, she's not exactly a goddess, but, um, she might as well be because she's such a big part of Greek mythology, like story-wise and, um, Famous wise, everyone knows the name Calypso. Um, but yeah, um, let's get back to the video. I've just been babbling on about Calypso in this cave. So as you can see, I've been using the two stone tables to create the caves and the archways. I had so much fun creating this, guys. Like um, back in the day in The Sims 3, even in The Sims 2, but mainly... Oh yeah, I think in The Sims 2 I used to do a lot of terrain work too. Um, well, this sort of reminded me a lot of those days when we had terrain tools and when we were able to just mold the land to however we wanted. Unfortunately, we do not have terrain tools in The Sims 4, but me just messing around with some of these rocks and merging them together with move objects cheat and like making them higher and lower and stuff to kind of blend them all together was so much fun and I'm really really happy with the effect that I ended up getting from using them. It looks very natural in my opinion. I did a lot of layering to get this effect by the way. There was a lot of a lot of tables used to make these caves and I am so glad that I did these archways that I did. I think I do put in some um, some other archways at the front. You guys will see it very shortly. But um, I end up just making it look more natural, just stone instead of, um, I think it's a statue. It's this one. I pop this in and I know it looks Greek and it looks kind of nice with the vines, but I get rid of it because I just feel like it takes away from the whole cave feel. And Calypso, she was trapped on this island. So, and it, it's an island. It didn't really have any, I don't think it had any infrastructure structure on it and in my opinion these pillars these arch those um statue archways imply that there was infrastructure and possibly another civilization living on that island which there wasn't from what i know 
Um, I do have a fountain that goes all the way around the outside, but I changed that to be a pool, which is usable later on. And we have this awesome little like exposed basement, which I am in love with. I think it looks so cool. And I just placed around some rocks and stuff to make the wall a little bit more natural. And oh man, I'm just, this is probably my favorite build by far. I'm, oh my goodness. One thing I have to just like let you guys know before you go over to my gallery and try to put this in your world. Unfortunately, you are not able to, well, from what I know, you are not able to put this into your world when you download it from the gallery. I have no idea why, but all of the tables um, that I used in the rocks, like the table rocks, they all fall back down onto the ground. Like they're not up in the air where I put them. So if you guys have a solution for that, please let me know because I would love to share this build with you guys. I put a good three hours into this. It doesn't look like something that would take three hours, but it did take three hours, which um, honestly I'm pretty proud about. I could have easily spent eight hours on a build like this, but I decided to be really, like I tried really hard to push myself Time-wise with this, I'm trying to challenge myself to build faster. I really want to get better at fix that with my build. So then it's easier for me to make speed build videos for you guys. Because it kind of sucks that I have to cut up the videos so much. I would like to just record the whole thing and basically show it to you guys. And it'd be a very easy video for me to um, share. So um, yeah, just fiddling around. This was a very fiddly build because I just was experimenting with the tables and the different objects, trying to make everything look very natural and I don't know, I think, I think my hard work paid off and I kind of love that big rock that we have jutting out there that kind of cuts into that first archway there. I really like that because in my opinion, like that's what it would look like in real life. There would be rocks like that and yeah, really happy. Like some things just happen when you're building. Like, I know I used to build like this when I was little. I used to look at other people's builds and just like copy them when I was really young. Um, I'm not sure if you guys did that when you're younger or now you do that, but I feel like it's okay to do that because you all, you learn somewhere, but um, it's also good to experiment, uh, maybe find a picture of something that you want to be inspired by and then just experiment and find something new, create your own um, way of building. I don't know, like that's why there's so many amazing builders on the gallery and on YouTube, like sim builders on YouTube even because all of them experiment and I just urge you guys like experiment with everything in life, TBH. Like, like, don't, don't be the norm. Like, come on. Oh my God. So me putting this pool, I had to delete the fountain and I cut it out, but it was so like, it was so painful for me because it deleted quite a lot of rocks, but it didn't delete as many as I thought it did. If it deleted all of the rocks around the edge of that fountain, I would have died, <laughs> but thankfully it didn't. I'm really happy with the choice, the watercolor choice I had. Like I really want it to look very tropical and like, I don't know, inviting, like a place that you would like to go swimming. I didn't really want it to be that gross greeny color. I know some people love that watercolor in The Sims 4, like a lot of Simmers do use it, but I honestly don't really like it. It makes me feel like gross and stuff. Like even though in real life, um, most of the swimming holes around my area are that color, maybe even like a bit more bluey. Like I, there's a place that we go swimming at that's near the beach called the green pools. And as you can imagine, it's green, it's green, but it's really nice at the same time. <laughs> so I don't know what's my deal about not liking the green water in The Sims, but it, it just looks grosser in The Sims than it does in real life. Let's just leave it at that. Now I'm just putting some ferns and stuff. Um, we haven't even got up to any of the, I don't know what you call it, gardening, um, landscaping. I'm not sure what you would call putting in all of the plants 
there would be a word, a special word for it, but I do a lot of that. Like I put a lot of plants, a lot of vines in this. I cut out some, most of it actually, and um, but it looks really pretty in the end. And I'm excited to show you guys because um, I know the reason why I cut it out, a lot of it out, is because. When I'm doing my gardens, I'm not sure if you guys do this, but I will find a combination of plants that I really like and then I will just copy and paste it and kind of repeat that pattern all around the lot because I like things to match. Um, the reason why I'm showing putting these vines and other little things around is because I really liked how I kind of merged some of the... Um, merged some of the ferns to look like they're coming jutting out of like crevices and stuff I think that looked really nice and natural because in real life ferns do do that they find the most strangest places to grow life finds a way and um, wherever like in the most strangest places uh, just putting in some grass and stuff this was a very overgrown build like I've just been saying and I'm super happy with how green it ends up um, lots of irises. I actually feel like I know I'm doing a goddess themed um, series, but um, I feel like we're going to be getting something ancient Greece themed in the future because we just have so many items and things added to the game that just imply that or maybe you never know maybe the romantic garden stuff was our greek inspired or ancient greece roman inspired pack but um now i'm adding in a cool waterfall i wish it was a little bit closer to the water edge but unfortunately i could not really move that stone i did try to move it but it just did not work because it was connected to the basement the exposed basement um now you can see a lot of the garden is done and it's very lush overgrown it's messy it's not formal at all but i'm not really a formal type of garden person I like my gardens to be messy and kind of not organized the most organized part about my gardens would be the stones I love that I put in this giant tree inside the cave um, I don't know I just love how it casts shadows everywhere and yeah I'm just really happy with that and um, we also put a cool um, chair on that rock there on that rock ledge unfortunately you cannot use the chair but it still looks awesome and it really like it kind of looks like it's made out of the tree but the tree is still there so obviously no one cut it down but it matches the tree color and oh man I can't wait to show you guys the screenshots it looks so pretty ah, now I'm just chucking in some trees I think I put a lot of trees in because I just wanted it to look very overgrown um, in my opinion, I would think that um, Calypso's cave, it doesn't, I don't think Ogigia is a real um, island. I actually did not look that up before doing this build. That would be very funny if I, if I guessed what it actually looked like, if it was a real place. But I'm guessing it's a island in the Mediterranean. And I know that they don't have a huge, like, I don't think palm trees are native in that area. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I could, I possibly could be wrong, as I have not been there. And being Australian, we don't, re well, being from country Australia, um, what is, that's not right. <laughs> from rural, remote Australia, we didn't really learn much about other countries. I'm sure that city kids probably learned a lot more about other countries than I did, but they were more concerned about agriculture where I come from. So yeah, we didn't really learn much about the world. We aren't very worldly people out here in the country apparently, but um, <laughs> that's so wrong. <laughs> Oh, do not quote me at all. <laughs> but, um, I'm guessing that this Ogia would be, or Ochigia, let's just call it Calypso's Cave, would be in the Mediterranean. And I think they had, I don't think they had palm trees. So I just try to keep it not, um, not Englandish. I, I don't know what words are right now, but 
<laughs> oh man, oh man. Okay, moving along before I just like brain fart all over the place. We are now doing the vines and there are a lot of vines in this build, everyone. Like a lot. And it took me so long. I did cut out a lot, but I did try to keep in a lot of footage still for you guys of me putting in the um, vines just because I wanted to show you guys how I did it using move objects. Um, I also chucked in a trench here because I wasn't sure at the time if Sims would be able to walk through the archways. So I thought as a fail safe, we will have this trench that is wide enough for them to just go through. And also that kind of makes the whole build a lot more playable and easier for Sims to navigate. Hopefully, hopefully it's easy for them to navigate. I did test it. Um, in the screenshots, I had the Sim Calypso go and visit it. Um, I'm not sure if I said this at the beginning of the video, but I did do a creator sim. So if you would like to check that out, do go over. I think I did it only like a week ago, if even that. So um, I think she's gorgeous and she definitely suits this um, lot. Um, unfortunately, she cannot live here. That is something that I am so devastated about the bluffs. It's a very, it's a very unique, um, unique lot that you cannot actually change the preset for. It is stuck and you can't change it. You can't change it to a residential, um, sadly. So here I am experimenting with putting the rocks on a second floor so then Sims can go underneath. But unfortunately, when I delete the floor, it deletes them. So... Um, yeah, that kind of, that kind of sucks, but oh well, oh well, we do have the trench on the side there, so I figured it's okay. It will look pretty in the screenshots, and at least, at least I tried, you know? You gotta try somewhere, but, 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 I did test it out, and you can go underneath it. Your sims can walk underneath, but, um... Yeah, unfortunately, you guys can't get it off the gallery properly. Um, you could still download it and put it in your world and then maybe try to move all of the rocks to be the way that I had them. You could try to fix it up, but um, yeah, if anyone has a solution, please let me know because I really want to be able to share this with you all. I love using these vines. These vines that I use, I really love them. I think they add so much more to the rock formations. They make it look more wild and rugged. Like it's this subtropical landscape that's untamed. And that's exactly what I was going for because I think, um, I don't think that when Zeus condemned, I think it was Zeus who condemned um, Calypso to Ogigia. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Um, I don't think he realized that it's actually a paradise or I don't think she realizes how beautiful it is because in those paintings, it looks so nice. Like I would go on holiday there for sure. And you know what? I'm gonna bring my Sims to this lot, uh, probably a lot. I'm gonna bring them to this lot a lot because it is so nice and I think like if my sims want to go swimming on like a nice hot day this would be the place to go this is like paradise um if we had a island paradise expansion pack by now oh that would have been perfect oh man something I was missing was some palm tree um like plants not palm trees but like palm plants like um i do end up using some pot plants i think i left that footage in i am not sure um but yeah still putting in some vines i put in so many vines like, seriously probably 50 percent of this lot is vines oh and down here i didn't show you guys what i did down here this is very much like inspired by world adventures in the sims 3 i was just very much like thinking of the tombs and the places that you used to go and explore in because if you guys didn't know um, my new series is going to be very mystery based I've been working on this for quite some time and I'm just so excited to finally be able to bring this to you all it's nearly done it's been taking me so much longer than I thought it would like oh my god it's 
it trying to make builds and find builds that fit the theme is a lot more it's a lot harder than I thought it would be and um, I just want to do it right you know I feel like the first season I had a lot of big ideas and I just wasn't able to depict them properly unfortunately so this is round two and hopefully I'll be able to entertain you guys with it and also have a lot of fun this is a storyline that I um, feel it's very close to my heart because I love the sims in it and um, I've always been so interested with um, Greek mythology so it's going to be a lot of fun to finally be able to properly explore that theme um, here I'm just like doing um, just experimenting and putting a whole bunch of pot plants around but just disguising them into the garden so I'm hiding that they are pot plants so I really liked those vines so I wanted to put them around everywhere and um, now we are up to the screenshots yay this is the bird's eye view and I think it looks so cool I love the exposed um, basement and this is looking through the waterfall I did add some little sprinkler fountain thingies to make it look like the water was actually running another shot there and you can see Calypso actually swimming ah, I love that they can just about access all of the archways that archway to on the left of the screen there you cannot there is the chair that I was talking about earlier I love it there I wish you could sit on it all of the pot plants all of the fruit in my mind people would bring offerings to the statue um, this is the inside area. There is a downstairs which is in inaccessible. That is a very in that is a very hard word for me to pronounce. Oh my goodness, it just stumped me. Um, and here is the pool. And I like to think of more like a stream and I guess that connects to the ocean. There is the waterfall, which I wish was closer to the water edge, but oh well, I think it looks really nice in the end, anyways. Another shot. Shot. Oh my god, I'm just in love with all of the ferns everywhere. Everything looks so overgrown and lovely. I'm so happy with this. <sighs> just loving all of the vines and all of the overgrowth. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!